Today I'm going to make a teleprompter out of a picture frame from the dollar store and a couple of scraps of wood. Let's see if I can do this. First I need to get myself a couple of diagonal supports. I want the frame to stand in front of the camera at a 45 degree angle. Now I'm just taking the frame apart. All I need is the frame and the glass. The tabs that hold the picture in place can also be used to just hold the glass in place. I'm drilling holes in the bottom half of the frame because the frame is going to be standing above the supports. Now I'm using the frame as a guide so that I know how far apart to put the supports. And I'm outlining the supports so that I know where to drill pilot holes. If you know anything about carpentry, well, that puts you one up over on me because I don't. And just to finish things up on the outside work, the whole thing was way too long, so I cut off the end of it, and I drilled a hole so that I can attach some kind of camera mount to my teleprompter. All right, construction is basically complete, but it's not a teleprompter yet. What's going to make it a teleprompter? My phone. That's right. There is teleprompter software available for pretty much any Android device, and this is what's going to make my teleprompter so cheap because I already have the phone. I thought of all kinds of things for a light shield by settled on a cardboard box. It's cheap, it's light, it gets rid of the glare, and it makes it easy for the talent to see the text. Now I just set it on top of a box, because I haven't figured out how to tripod mount this yet, set the application going, set it in the box, and... So now I'm using the teleprompter. This isn't going to be smooth. Um, professionals who use a teleprompter have professionals who control the speed of the teleprompter, and I don't have that luxury. But by tweaking the text file, I hope to improve the results. That's the end of the text file, and that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching.